Savage Kitchen. It's the holidays and that means it's time for eggnog. I love eggnog, uh, but I've only had store-bought eggnog. So this year I thought it would be fun to try and make homemade eggnog. And I wanna compare it to the store-bought stuff because like, honestly, I don't mind hitting the easy button every now and then and just buying things. But this is something I have a feeling that the homemade version is going to be awesome. So here we go. It's actually pretty simple ingredient wise. First thing we need is eggs. Eggs go in eggnog. Then we're gonna add some sugar, some nutmeg, some milk, some heavy cream, and then bourbon, because bourbon. You could also do this with rum, but if you know me, you know how much I love bourbon. So we're gonna use uh, some Noble Oak bourbon today. So for this recipe, we are going to be making enough for about six or seven cups of eggnog, depending on how big you like your servings. So we're gonna take four eggs, and separate them because we're going to treat the yolks differently than the whites. So four eggs and I'm going to go right into the bowls with these. Oh, f I can fix this. Oh, <laughs> I think we're going to go through a dozen eggs trying to get four. Oh, don't shoot. Mm -mm. So far we've got three. three yolks, but one white. <laughs> oh, I have brilliant ideas. God, I didn't know eggnog was gonna be so traumatic. Oh, 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 no, not today, Satan. Uh-uh, there we go, four. <laughs> okay, now that we've gotten through <laughs> separating our eggs from our yolks, we're going to set the egg whites aside and we're gonna beat these yolks. And after that experience, I think I need to get some aggression out. So we're going to uh, beat these egg yolks and add in a third of a cup of sugar as we're beating. Should have done this in a clear bowl, huh? So you want to beat the eggs and the sugar together until all of the sugar is dissolved. And now that it is, we're slowly going to go about incorporating our two cups of milk, one cup of heavy cream, and the recipe I found calls for three ounces of bourbon, but we're going to add four because I like even numbers and bourbon. All right, so now for the heavy cream. All right, now for the bourbon. Oh, hello, old friends. Let's start with two ounces. I'm going to blend that in. There's probably like better ways technically to do this, but we're just going to wing it because it's the holidays. And then let's add our two more ounces of bourbon. Like I said, you could also do this with rum. Um, just as good, I'm sure. Okay, now I'm just going to quickly rinse these off and we are going to take our egg whites and beat them into stiff white peaks. We're gonna slowly add in one tablespoon of sugar. <laughs> this is why they said to use a stand mixer. We're gonna call this episode Savage Kitchen Melts Down. <laughs> Let's maybe try from the back. <laughs> Don't you dare give me that what she said. Had to make my own eggnog. Six and a half hours later. Okay, okay. I feel like things are happening. It's changing. I think our egg whites are done. Maybe. There we go. Okay. Egg whites are done. So now we're gonna mix our egg white mixture into our egg yolk mixture with the cream and the bourbon. And at the very end, we're gonna add just a bit of nutmeg. So we're gonna go ahead and add our egg whites to this bowl. <clears throat> There's probably a more artful way to do this. Oh, clearly we're winging things. <clears throat> and whip these together. This is coming 
everything together. So I've noticed as I'm whipping these together, there are like little lumps left over from the egg whites. So I'm just blending this until those are gone. Let's grate some fresh nutmeg. I don't know, probably like a teaspoon's worth. Again, this is very precise. <clears throat> Ooh. It smells good. Okay. All right, let's give this, let's give this a try. Let's pour into this. After the trauma <laughs> of making homemade eggnog, I really hope that this tastes good, but we're gonna compare it to store-bought. I feel like this is pretty available, at least in the US. Um, and then this is a dairy-free version. This is actually my personal favorite. I get this every year. Um, and depending on how this tastes, I might continue to buy this every year. Uh, let's see. This better be good after all of this effort. So let's give this a try. So with each of the store-bought, there's no alcohol in those already. So I'll spike them with a little bit of bourbon so that it matches up with this. And for the homemade, this is already kind of, I can see it's like separating a little bit. So I'm gonna give this a little stir before pouring. Huh. Ooh, okay. Oh. All right, that seems a little aggressive. <laughs> All right, and so this is the traditional. It's a totally different color. It can be less aggressive with this pour. Um, and also it's pretty thick. And then this is the uh, uh, non-dairy. Oh, this one, like just looking at it, even though I like this one, it's kind of watery. Oh, I'm already a little disappointed. And we're gonna add just a splash of bourbon to each of these. Like literally just a splash since I did. Also, if you're gonna add eggnog uh, and a spirit together, I highly recommend putting it in a shaker with ice to chill it and incorporate the spirit. But we're just running fast and loose today, so just bear with me. Hmm. all right. Let's start with the traditional Southern Comfort. It is exactly what you expect. It's good, but like, doesn't knock my socks off. And then this is the non-dairy uh, with coconut milk, which ooh, I think this is personally way better. It's, um, even though the consistency isn't quite as thick, it's a little bit sweeter and that taste of coconut comes through very subtly and it's delicious. Like I could drink a lot of this, but let's try this bad boy. This looks like a milkshake. Like it's super thick. There's actually a head on it. Um, you can see the fresh eggnog like sort of filtering down to the bottom. Let's try it. Oh, that's okay. <clears throat> that is so good. That's like really these guys. <clears throat> like, this was worth the trauma of breaking all of those eggs, having sugar scatter absolutely everywhere. Oh, that is rich. It's creamy. It tastes so much different than the store-bought. It is really good. I can also see making this, like if you don't do uh, cow's milk dairy, I think you can make this at home with coconut milk and coconut cream. In fact, I might try that next. And I also think like the taste of, we added four ounces of bourbon to this. I don't think that's enough. But maybe you start with this and then for your uh, spirit forward guests, maybe add a little bit more on the pour. This is delicious. Mm. Yeah, happy holidays. Cheers, friends. Mm -hmm.